This is the case of really unorthodox approach to the timepiece design. And for all intents and purposes, it actually works and works very well if we are to judge by the popularity of this limited edition collection from Valimore. Looks like this micro brand just keeps on delivering sellout collections one after another. And I have one of their samples here, and I can tell you straight out it's good. But how good? Well, let's find out. Hello and welcome back! As always, a full backlog of material in our review pipeline, so don't forget to subscribe, so you don't miss anything. Valimore as a company is a very interesting micro brand with a series of successful projects backed by its founder Raymond Jones, who apparently had almost two decades of experience in the industry prior to founding Valimore, which is a combination of two words – Valiant and Armor. Now, Valimore website has a lot of information about their history, design philosophy and accomplishments. Quite an interesting read, and I will of course leave links to their website and to the product listing in the description of this video. Yeah. The inspiration for this Kilgara series actually comes from the dragon scale armor of King Arthur Legends. Kilgara is also known as a great dragon, but if this watch sparked your interest, you probably already know that. This timepiece combines the medieval aesthetics with present day functionality and actually has a few interesting surprises up its sleeve. Putting this watch on kind of echoes putting on a knight armor in preparation for a next quest. The design is quite unique, and I enjoyed wearing this timepiece while preparing for this review, but you don't have to take just my word for it. The Valimore company and their collections have been endorsed by numerous horology magazines and reviewers. And to make sure that everyone knows that they mean business, Valimore even managed to successfully patent this unique design across all 27 member countries of the European Union. And also, this is a limited edition series, and I'm not sure if Valimore will do another run once they sold out, so something to keep in mind. Packaging. Well, attention to detail here is on another level. We get a booklet with King Arthur's stories highlights, and then the actual packaging, which resembles a medieval book of spells. And we also get a branded tool to adjust the bracelet. Obviously, guys and Valamore making sure that there are no impediments on our way to start enjoying this very special timepiece. Dimensions. The case diameter is 40 mm and the case height is a smidge under 15 mm, so this is not a petite watch by any means, but Valimore employed every trick in the book for it to fit pretty much most resizes. And it includes having a very compact lock to lock distance of 47.3 mm and well sculpted pointed down lugs and also inverted end links on this well crafted stainless steel bracelet, which we will look at a bit later in the video. The lock width is 22 mm, which also suits this gothic armor aesthetics very well. The bracelet does have a small taper down to 20 mm at the clasp, and the full length of this bracelet should cover up to 8.25 inch wrist or 21 cm in circumference. And with the full length of the stainless steel bracelet, this watch weighs 171 grams and 157 grams after adjusting it to my about 7 inch wrist. I will, of course, include footage of this watch on a 7 and on a 6.5 the interests later in this video. The case is crafted from 316 L stainless steel. The top of the lugs and flanks have a setting like longitudinal brushing. On one hand, the case shape presents a very robust structure, but on the other hand, there are well thought through touches of elegance, starting from a nicely done high polished chamfers along the flanks and well designed crown guards, and then, of course, the actual crown itself. Seriously, this is probably the most well-designed crown I've ever came across. And not only it looks good, the conical shape provides a very comfortable grip as well. And by the way, this is a Swarovski crystal on the top of this crown, which is definitely a unique touch. Now, the brushed finishing continues to the back of the case, and we have a well-designed scroll exhibition back case with dragon scale like grip and key specifications on the perimeter. We do have 100 meters of water resistance declared on this watch, so in theory we are okay to swim in it. However, do be careful because we have a push-pull crown arrangement here, so make sure that that crown is tucked in nicely into the case before getting into the water. Movement. Well, this is another little surprise that Valimore prepared for us here. We get a Japanese Miyota 8315 movement in this watch, which is an updated version of the Japanese Miyota 8000 series. 
This movement, while still beating at 21,600 vibrations per hour, has two very important features. First one is hacking, that is, the second hand will stop when we adjust the time. And the second one is extended power reserve to over 60 hours. The movement also features a nicely decorated rotor with branding and what appears like an engraving of two dragons. A really nice detail, well fitting the aesthetics of this timepiece. Bezel. The dragon scale design theme continues on this 60 click unidirectional bezel. The bezel features a ceramic insert, which is engraved and also loomed, as we will see when we examine the loom a bit later in the video. The dragon scale resembling bezel grip is very comfortable and the bezel alignment is pretty much spot on. As I just mentioned, it is a 60 click bezel and bezel action feels a bit different if you're used to 220 clicks diver bezels. There are of course long intervals between the clicks and there is also a slight backplay, so possibly not the best bezel action that I've experienced, however it still feels snappy and tactile. And here is how it sounds. Crystal. We have a domed sapphire crystal, which according to Valimo product description has three anti-reflective coatings. Looks like the AR coatings are clear, because there is no blue hue that we can see sometimes on some AR coatings, which is nice. The legibility of the dial is very good and the crystal single dome shape brings that nice vintage distortion at very acute viewing angles. Dial is where designers from Valimore really went all out. We have a very intricate three-layer design here, starting from the background that has 3D dragon scale texture with gradient blue to dark blue color. Then we have applied hour markers and a minute chaptering, which I believe constitute the second layer, which also includes applied branding and word automatic above the six o'clock marker. And then above that we have another minute track with five minute intervals and also decorated with a gothic style pattern. We have diamond cut semi-skeletonized hands, which are also executed in gothic sword and dagger style. The design is well balanced and execution is excellent. Velimorg also didn't hold back on the loom. We have a fair amount of Swiss superluminova applied on the dial and on the bezel. Ok, it is not a diver level loom, but it is plenty sufficient to keep this watch legible for hours in the dark. Bracelet. We have quite a substantial stainless steel bracelet to go with this watch. The bracelet is fully brushed with a very similar finish to the case. We have solid end links and solid links. The end links integration with the case is done very well and you probably already noticed a quick release mechanism, which is great and enables us to remove the bracelet literally in seconds. This is not a very common feature in this price category and a really welcome one. The links are connected by pins, which is perfectly acceptable and with provided by Valimo tool it is not a big deal to remove the links. We have nicely sculpted middle parts of the links, not surprising in the shape of a dragon scale. And we get a simple but well-functioning butterfly clasp here with brand logo engraving on both parts. Now, the absence of half links and no marker adjustments results in somewhat limited adjustability of this bracelet and with links over 5 mm wide it is not ideal. Maybe Velamo decides to include half links into their future models, so something to keep in mind. Now, Volimo also has a strap option for this watch, which I don't have in my studio, but based on the product pictures it is a well-decorated rubber strap with nicely engraved buckle, fully in line with the medieval motif of this timepiece. Price and verdict. Ok, to be absolutely pedantic, it would be nice if the bezel action was a bit better and also if we could get a bit more flexibility out of the bracelet and potentially a screw down crown would give us a bit more reassurance for the water resistance. However, as far as unique design goes and quality of execution, about $500 or $463 for rubber strap option and $558 for stainless steel one buys you a lot of watch for the money here. Swarovski and Sapphire Crystal, 60 hours of power reserve, beautifully designed and crafted timepiece. And with the design patent in Europe, Valimore seemed to pretty much corner the market for this style of gothic 
theme timepieces, and they already sold more than half of this Kilgara series limited edition watches. So I could tell you what I think could have made this really good watch a little bit better, but if this is the style of watch you're after, I think I'd rather tell you to consider your options in getting this watch before they run out of this limited edition. What are your thoughts? Do let us know in the comments, and if you find this review helpful, to hit that like button and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and as always thank you for watching take care and i'll see you in the next video